for the rest of the agenda and the evening. Now it's uh, our chairman, Al Ferdman's turn. Let's give him a big hand. Uh, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the June edition of the Canyon Country Advisory Committee. Uh, tonight, the meeting agenda will be uh, as normal. We'll uh, have the flag salute, some announcements. Um, the sheriffs are supposed to be here, and um, the zone leader is supposed to be here to introduce themselves, and we'll uh, see when they arrive. And then we have uh, David Bruns and a whole bunch of people from the L.A. County Sanitation District, and they're going to give us a presentation on the, on the uh, uh, chloride removal program that's going to be uh, um, voted on or is going to be uh, put up for a public hearing on June the 30th. Then we'll talk about the billboard referendum, where it is, what the status is, what the uh, status of the deal is, and um, we'll uh, carry on from there. Then our version of public participation, the next uh, meeting previews for the next several months, and then we'll adjourn promptly at 9 o'clock as always. So uh, every now and then we, uh, we come up and find that one of our own, and in this case uh, it was uh, Nadine. Seriously? Uh, yeah, seriously. You are our hero this month, right? Anyway, uh, you might remember that uh, Nadine has uh, been going to COC, and uh, everybody should give her a big round of applause because this year she graduated with a 4.0 GPA and was an honorary valedictorian. He's on to bigger and better things. How about that, Nadine? I thought you'd like that. Anyway, let's start uh, with our flag salute. Uh, could everybody please rise and follow me? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You know, there's a, uh, a few announcements that I don't really have charts on, but I want to make sure that everybody knows about them. Uh, I, I think it was a very good, uh, uh, you know, a, a very good improvement this year. If, uh, if you've noticed that uh, we've had a lot more flags put up by the city down Solid Ed Canyon this year. Uh, they were uh, put up uh, to start for Flag Day, and I'm sure they'll remain up over for the 4th of July. Also, there was a discussion in this year's budget about uh, sidewalk repairs, and uh, I've noticed there on, on Stillmore, uh, between um, uh, White's Canyon and going uh, east, uh, they're doing a, a, a fair amount of uh, sidewalk repair right now. And driveway, yes. Yeah, they are. It's, they're, doing a, they're doing a nice job. Also, on um, June 22nd, this next Sunday, the Old Town New Hall Association are going, is uh, hosting its classic car show. So from uh, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., uh, you can go there and see a whole bunch of uh, nice cars. And if you uh, want to enter one, why well, the entry fee is only uh, $25. But just to go down and view, you can go down and view for free, and it's from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. I was also informed at the uh, Old Town New Hall Association meeting today that on July the 5th, Saturday, July the 5th, there's going to be an Americana Folk Fest, which is a, going to be a musical event at the Towsley Canyon Park from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m., and the gates will open at 4.30, and it's a free concert. So uh, they, t they say to bring your blanket or chair. There's going to be food trucks, wine, and beer available at the event. Uh, also being planned on August the 5th will be an International Day of Blues, and we'll keep you posted as to what that event is going to be, but it's also going to be another uh, free concert in the Newhall area. So uh, for announcements, I, we're going to remind you several times tonight, uh, the billboard referendum uh, was approved, and um, or it was um, the signatures were validated, so the decision is going to be made on Tuesday, June the 24th, at City Council meeting, whether or not the City Council will either um, repeal the deal or whether they are going to look for a special election. Well, I don't know the agenda item number. It will know it tomorrow when the agenda comes out. Um, also, there, uh, if you don't get enough of a chloride fix this evening, 
Uh, there'll be additional information meetings for chloride, one tomorrow night, 7 p.m. at Live Oaks Elementary, and one on uh, next Wednesday, June the 25th at 7 p.m. at the Aquatic Center. And then the public hearing where um, you'll uh, we'll, um, be presenting that project and the next uh, six years worth of rates to the, to the Board of Directors, which is uh, Bob Keller, Lorraine West, and Michael Antonovich on the 20th at 6 p.m. at Santa Clarita City Hall. Excuse me? I'm sorry, June 30th. See, it, it, it surprised it so much it, it did it to it. Um, also, we'd like to talk a little bit about the 4th of July parade. You know, in the past, we've had uh, a lot of fun at, on that in that event, and we've had our own um, entries. So we, we're also going to um, have a 4th of July parade entry this year. And if you'd like to ride along with us, uh, we have a form in the back of the room if you just sign it, and we'll make sure that you're aware of exactly where we're going to be. I'm, I'm not sure yet. We, we don't know until just before the parade. But we decorated uh, this truck for a couple of years. Hopefully I'll be able to get it again. And we ride uh, through the parade on, on, in the truck. Uh, also, we, uh, we'd like to thank the moose. So here on the front of, uh, on the, front of the truck is a, a banner for the moose lodge. And uh, I plan this year, and just like we had in the past years, we're going to have music with it. So we, we really had a good time playing rock and roll music. People uh, really liked it, had a good time in dance. Also, I just want to remind everybody that it is baby's birthday on July 4th. And a baby always goes to the 4th of July parade because I want to show her all the people that are there to celebrate her birthday. <laughs> and so she enjoys herself uh, just as well, and, and that's a, a, a good thing. Meeting attendance uh, is kind of um, around normal. It's, it's, it's uh, coming down a little bit after our, uh, our forums. And, of course, um, we're into the summer months, so that's uh, where we're going to be. And our videos uh, uh, went up a little bit this, this uh, month, so that's a good thing. And people are still watching, by the way. Uh, you can't really see it too clearly here, but people are still watching the um, um, forum videos that we had, and, and that's a good thing as well. Um, uh, for new business, do we have any public participants? No. No. Okay. Uh, just some reminders. Uh, remember, June 30th is the public hearing for chloride. Um, if you haven't, if you want to, and you haven't sent in your protest letter yet, it's not too late. You can even bring it to that meeting. It's uh, uh, something that, um, that you still can do. The, 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 the likelihood that we can protest enough, get enough to, to, um, to stop it that way, is uh, very low. Because here again, this is set up uh, with a, um, so mathematically it's extremely hard to, because now it's not even 50% of the people that vote, it's 50% of the total number. But last time this happened, they got 7,000 protest letters, larger number than they'd ever had before, and it certainly got their attention. So uh, I'd advise, even though we know that it's a futile effort, in one respect, it's a good effort in another. Um, so if, you, um, if you're opposed, uh, you can send in your, uh, your protest letter and, uh, and just let them know that you care. Also, um, the billboard referendum is uh, uh, at the, on the 24th, like we said, at the next uh, Santa Cruz City Council meeting. Uh, here, this is just a reminder about the informational uh, meetings on the uh, chloride issue. There's one tomorrow night at Live Oaks Elementary or Wednesday on the 25th at uh, Santa Cruz Aquatic Center, and you can go and ask them uh, all kinds of uh, more questions. Uh, for our next meeting uh, in July is uh, all about fracking. Uh, we're going to have uh, Sherry Gilmore and Sandra Cattell had requested to come speak to us. They're going to tell us what uh, the issues are with, uh, with fracking and, and what their opinions are. And I think one of, the, one of the most interesting things that we are now getting into is that uh, on September, in September of 2014, we will, we will use our meet and greet format, you know what that is, and we will have uh, Steve Knight and Tony Strickland here for a half an hour of, uh, uh, you know, they get to introduce themselves for 10 minutes, 
and then 20 minutes to answer uh, questions from the audience. And uh, the order that those names are in are in alphabetical order, so don't get any uh, indication. We're, we're, uh, we want to see the same kind of uh, an impartial process run that we ran for the uh, city council elections as well. And we are trying at the same time to uh, see if we can get the sheriff's uh, candidates to show up at one of our meetings for the same thing. So there we go. For October, yes, for, not for not for September, because otherwise there'd be uh, guys with guns in the room at the same time as politicians doesn't mix. And uh, okay, so um, then sometime in 2014 we'll still talk about what is the business improvement district because that is a discussion that's going on in Newhall, and it is another way now where individuals can get together, individual businesses can get together and form their district themselves and uh, tax themselves, and that's uh, another one of the uh, great Proposition 218 uh, avenues. So I want to thank you all for uh, coming to Canyon Country. Oops, what do you got back there? Oh, yes, remember, yeah, if you want to uh, you want to ride on a parade float, you know, and you get to wave at people, you know, um, let, you know, I'll even let one of you hold baby. You could let her shake her paws so that everybody could see what, what that it's her birthday. And... Um, on your way out. So thank you very much for choosing to come to the Canyon Country Advisory Committee, and uh, I look forward to seeing all of you here again next month. Thank you.